Okay, so we got the car all packed up. We're ready for a weekend adventure. Dog's in the back seat there. Being what a dog does. Echo, are you having fun? I got the Set Power USA cooler in the back seat with some food, and I got the Blue Eddy down there powering the unit, so that's really exciting. First time using this type of cooler and power pack set up, and so far I'm pretty impressed. Hello. Hi. Where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> You're supposed to say we're going camping. Oh, we're going camping. We are leaving a little bit later than anticipated, so uh, we had to get some McDonald's for the road. <laughs> uh, we'll check back in once uh, we're on the road and uh, finding our campsite. So we're just out camping. We're here now. It is dark. We got here at dark, so not much filming, but got the Blue Eddy going, running the fridge, and it's been going for about two hours now. So we're down a bar here, 20%, and uh, everything inside the cooler is nice and cool. And I'm probably just gonna leave it hooked up overnight and uh, we'll see where we're at. We're set up here, Crown Land Camping, and a little impromptu trip out in the bush here. Got here pretty late last night, actually set up in dark, so we just had a little fire and then kind of went straight to bed. We're gonna spend the whole weekend here and try to make the best of it. Do some fishing, do some camping. Currently cooking breakfast and burning the bacon, so I should probably get on that and put the camera down. Currently got the Set Power USA TC65 fridge plugged in. I didn't leave it run overnight, uh, but see we're at 80%, and that's from a few hours yesterday. Uh, having it in the car on the drive here. So it uh, went from 38 degrees Fahrenheit to 50, so I lost quite a bit. So it'd be interesting to see what this is in terms of like a control test, you know, against like just a regular cooler, if it, how well it's insulated. But uh, it's plugged back in, it's running. And I think just to try it out, um, I'm going to hook up my solar panel from the trailer to the unit here and see uh, how much I juice I can get. So I just rerouted my 180 watt solar panel by Bouge RV uh, from the trailer. I diverted it down to the Blue Eddy just to see power it'll give. Right now it's not super sunny and we're not in direct sunlight. We're kind of in the middle of a bush here, but we're getting four watts of power put back in. So more just interesting to see that it's actually giving power to the unit that you're able to plug in solar and then also still be able to use it at the same time. The only time this thing uses power is when the compressor kicks on to, you know, keep it cool. But it only took like 15 minutes for the fridge to get back up temp. Pretty impressed with both these units. They're performing pretty good. What are we making, Jess? Egg bites. What are egg bites? Uh, eggs that you bite. And you're using this thing? Yes. Is this like where you got Starbucks? Yes. So we're making Starbucks eggs? Yes. Nice. I need the bacon. Need the bacon that I professionally Professionally and... burnt? Water? Water. Okay, there's water right here. Right open. Spin it right open. Yeah. 
Echo, you comfy? Helping yourself, eh? So those are in. It's down. It in. Now you gotta plug it in. Plug it into the AC outlet. Bam. Ooh, 400 watts output. Now we wait. And now we wait. Let's see if the Blue Eddy EB55 can cook us some Starbucks egg bites. <laughs> so, I guess the uh, cooler works as a nice work surface as well, eh? <laughs> yes. Yeah, my only complaint so far about the Blue Eddy is that it doesn't have a... Um, like estimated runtime, it just gives you a percentage base. So you're basically just guessing uh, like how much you have left usable power, but currently running everything and uh, doing its job. Like they're like golden brown. Yeah, I think they are. Ooh, beautiful. Look at those puppies. Three out of four ain't bad, eh? Yeah, I'll eat the ugly one. <laughs> Look at that cross section. <laughs> That's a nice cross section. How was your buck? It's so frigged up. So frigged up. Did the people die? Yep. I don't have anywhere to sit. Someone stole my spot. And I'd feel bad taking it away from her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go fishing later. All right, get in. This is your first time this year? Yeah. This is actually my first time with this canoe this yeah. year, which is pretty pathetic. <laughs> This cool mount from Deeper. Pretty sweet. Bobber. Phone mounted on the ram mount here. Deeper mounted to the the flex swivel arm. Everything tied down good. Open the deeper out. Put this in the water. Good. All right, and we're scanning. So we're currently nine feet is the depth, Jess. Well, I'm not marking anything, so I'm gonna keep going until we see something. Probably set a trolling line. I put the Scotty Ram mount up front for you. Yeah? Okay. I trust ya.
That's a fish right there. Just jumping out the surface. Okay, so I am marking some stuff right underneath us, so just drop down. Oh yeah, there's a good mark right there, right underneath us. You got a fish on? Fish on. There's a little bass. Oh, you, look how cute he is. A little, little smally. He's so cute. Okay. Yep. We're not going to keep this one, but. Well, obviously. Here, you uh, you can lip him. There you go. A little oh. tight. <laughs> Good job, babe. <laughs> on the board. Yay. Thanks to Deeper. Deeper Chirp 2. Marking the fish. Can I let him go? Yeah, you can let him go. Bye, baby. There he is. This is fun. Bass, little tiny guy, but we're marking them. We're finding them. Back at camp, just a handful of small little bass. This big. You missed a bigger one, though. Eh? I did. How big was the one that you missed? This big. Really? <laughs> I really wanted to do fish tacos tonight, but we don't have any fish for tacos. So I guess we're doing like a cheese quesadilla thing. But no, it's a beautiful evening. Uh, had a really nice time on the lake, and uh, yeah just enjoying our time out in the woods. So I thought this thing was gonna be dead when I got back, but it actually got some power from 20 to 40% from the solar panel. Uh, obviously there's no more input and there's no more sun, so I should probably just unhook that bad boy. Yeah, it'll probably last us the rest of the night, so that's fun. What do you think of the Blue Eddy? I think it's very useful. <laughs> what do you think about the cooler? Also very useful. Everything feels like it's been in the fridge all day yeah anytime you take it out that's pretty nice and it's not soaking wet like the egg carton isn't yes. like mushy which is yes. nice and they don't have to worry about ice and water so far so good no complaints no real complaints Ooh. twinkly lights <laughs> Wondering where the dog is. She's been uh, 
very comfortable in the trailer. Hey Echo, hi girly. You being a good girl? Did you have a good nap? Did mommy and daddy leave you in here? Yeah, we didn't want to deal with you in the canoe. Too much energy. Start this thing and get some oil hot. Yep. Is that enough? Yep. Swirl around a little bit. Swirly, swirly. Yeah, that's good. Front runner kitchen cook kit coming in handy. Where we didn't get to use tonight. Oh, I missed the flip. I don't know what I do about it. <laughs> Does that look like a good flip? Look at that nice golden color. Oh, shit. Good thing this is yours. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. That looks yummy. It's poison. It's missing protein. <laughs> oh, it'll it'll do. No, it's actually not bad. No. Yeah. That's our setup tonight. I think it's looking pretty special. Are you gonna propose? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go to prom with me? I think the string lights are a nice addition. Little twinkly light retreat in the middle of nowhere. Time for a fire. Did you have a good sleep, Echo? Morning. Had a good sleep last night. That was a beautiful night. First taking down camp. We're gonna put everything away and hit the road here. A little update on the power pack and the cooler. I left this on plugged in all night. You know, granted it was a little bit cooler at night, but this thing is still going. 20%, it is telling me low battery, but this thing lasted all freaking night. Cooler still reading 33 degrees. Incredible. Everything in here is still nice and fresh. Feels just like a fridge, like we have at home. So I'm super impressed by the Set Power TC65 and the EB55 Blue Eddy Portable Power Pack. These two items play very nice together and uh, wow, what an upgrade to our camping gear list. If you guys are interested in picking yourself up uh, this cooler or the power pack, I do have a link down below. There is a code for a discount. It'll be really clear in the description of uh, what everything is. So, And of course, it's an affiliate link. So if you click on the link and buy something, I get a commission. I know extra cost to you. If there is a discount, then uh, it's a win-win for everyone, right? So thanks for watching and stay tuned. Um, there was random money in our bed. Money in our bed? There's a toonie over there if you want to grab it. <gasps> Does my double-double.